Oh, well, looks like Rudolph's coming back. And Sky Tower's halfway, half mast. Oh, look, the bump in the sea. Like spikes. So, uh, strolling through SeaWorld on the Sunday afternoon. Uh, they just wrapped up the Halloween season over here. Now they're doing a lot of the Christmas tree decorations. So, uh, they even have the, the Rudolph sign out front by the Dolphin Nursery. So, it looks like they're going to keep Rudolph rule, rolling up. Today's supposed to be one of the days where they're still doing a look inside tours, one of the backstage tours of SeaWorld. Short little tours, gives you some insight on how they do things and the husbandry with the animals. It's pretty cool. Maybe some of the water filtrations of the shark tank. Um, I'm just going to go through and see some of what they're doing. If they're doing an orca one, I'll definitely try to get in on that. But I might not do all of them. I've done a lot of them in the past. I might even have some footage backlog that I can put up later on if I find it in my computer from years past. I think there's some good footage in there too if I can find it. So, all right, let you know. A lot of the Christmas trees are up and about. Getting ready. Dolphin playtime at Dolphin Stadium. This in between moment. They're doing a trainer talk today at 3:40, 20 minutes before show start for a Dolphin Day. Mm -hmm. So it looks like uh, letting some free swim happening in the main area of the show. Pretty cool. Really 
event to address and showcase the athletic ability of bottomless dolphins, but part of our training is really important because it also allows us to take care of the animals. We call that husbandry training. And we're going to give you a little bit of a uh, look into what we do for all of that. We're going to start over here with Billy G. She is one of our most experienced trainers over here. She's training a dolphin named Tiger to do a behavior that we call the full and flip. Now we have a couple tools that we use in the animal training field. We have some trainers out here along the glass with some target holes. We teach the animals to follow our hands back and forth, up and down, and in circles. But when we want to train the behavior way out in the center of the pool or along the glass, for that we use a target. We teach the animal to follow the buoy on the end of those poles. We can actually slap the surface of the water to give the animal a cue. They can hear that underwater and they can see it from underwater. And we ask them to jump right in a very specific spot. So Billie Jean is going to warm up Tiger a little bit. The first step in this behavior is training a somersault at the surface. And there it is. So right now, a tiger has mastered the forward flip in the first position. This behavior we like to train along the glass in two positions. So Billy Jean was warming up, warming him up here at the surface. She gave him that hand signal. He did it in the first position. We're using the second target pole with the second trainer over here to tap the surface of the water just as he is re-entering the water to slowly teach him that we'd like him to do it in two positions. So we're going to try it again. She's getting them ready. There's the hand signal from Billy Jean. Here's the first tap, first position. Beautiful. Here's the second tap. Let's see if he's got it. That's Tiger. Nice one. <laughs> you know, all of our training here at SeaWorld is based on positive reinforcement. And all that means is that when the animals do something that we really like, well, we give them everything that they enjoy, whether that's food or toys or a backup. And you can see that Daniel over here is loving on Tiger. He gave him a bunch of fish. Dolphins get about 20 pounds of fish every single day. And as we continue with the training process, we'll continue to be reinforcing Tiger over here as he flips at two positions in the pool. We're going to be drawing him over towards this end of the pool to hopefully reinforce positively that he is flipping in this direction. And a really fun reward is coming from this area over here. Now that is one of our favorite behaviors for a show. We put a lot of cool flips and jumps and high energy aerial behaviors into our dolphin day show, which we're going to see in just a little bit. But like I said earlier, part of our training program is to train the animals to interact with us and cooperate with us so that we can give them great health care. We're going to show that a little bit right now. Part of our pleasantry or health care program is by training the animals to take voluntary hydration. Now, if you know anything about dolphins, they don't drink the water that they live in. They live in salt water. It would make them sick, just like us. They get all their water or their hydration from the food that they eat. They eat about 20 pounds of fish every day. But occasionally, dolphins need a little extra hydration in their diet, so we can actually train them positively to take a long tube into the mouth and it goes down the esophagus into the first chamber of the stomach. This is a really important behavior because we can actually pour a little water, fresh water, into the funnel at the other end of this tube and we can give them a couple of liters of fresh hydration. This is another great behavior that we've taught because if an animal isn't feeling so hot because they get belly aches and headaches just like us, we need to give them some medication or some medicine if they're not feeling so great, this is an avenue that we can administer it. We can also train this behavior without water. We can put the tube right down into the animal's stomach and we can keep that tube right where it comes out of his mouth and the suction that is held in that tube can actually give us what we call a gastric sample. So it gives us a sample of the contents of what's in a dog's mouth. That's kind of the messy part of working with animals. Sometimes it's not always glamorous. Sometimes it's a little bit gross. But for us, it's a great way that we take great care of our animals. So that is just one example of 
of a husbandly behavior. We also train them to hold still for all sorts of exams. We can even train them to hold still and keep their eyes open if they need an eye drop. We give them proactive eye drops or reactive eye drops if we need to treat any type of eye condition. Animals are prone to getting all sorts of conditions with their health, just like people. So we can train them to hold still for all sorts of medications and all sorts of health care. Now shifting back over here to center stage, this is Alejandro. He is learning a behavior that we call the stage slide. This is kind of a transition back to our show training. We saw Billy Jean and Tiger working on the forward flip earlier. Diego did his husbandry or healthcare training. But Alejandro right now is learning a behavior where he stands along the stage, pops up here, and then pumps his tail really quickly and then glides right across that stage. These animals have a lot of muscle in that tail. They can get high up out of the water, into the air, and they can even get themselves right across the stage. So Lauren's going to give him a hand signal. We have a secondary trainer over here as a secondary guy. Here he comes. That's Alejandro. Nice to see that. This behavior is still in the training process, so he's still relying on this trainer over here, Allison, to set him up in just the right position. And as this behavior is continued to progress, we're going to be able to fade away this trainer, and he'll be able to do it with just one hand signal from his king trainer. Let's see what he's got. You can see Allison backed up a little bit. Nicely done! That's Alejandro! So that, train, that behavior is still in the training process. But we have a dolphin right next to him that we saw earlier, Diego. He's fully trained or fully conditioned on this stage slide. So this is what it's going to look like once that behavior is fully completed. Let's see. That's Diego on the stage slide. So that's just a little bit of some of the training that we do here at Dolphin Theater in the high flip. I'm going to ask you guys to keep your eye out if you're sticking around for our Dolphin Day show because those behaviors will be showcased in our show later on this afternoon. Now all our training, like I said, is based on positive reinforcement and it really starts with a relationship. A relationship is established between the animal and the trainer. We spend a lot of time every single day just building our relationships with the animals here at Dolphin Theater and across all of our show stadium and at Dolphin Cove. It takes a team of trainers to really be able to get to know them as individuals and get to know them as large groups. Dolphins are very social animals and we spend a lot of time teaching them to go in and out of their large group, which is called the pod. So in just a minute here, you're going to see one of these doors that leads to our side pool open. These animals are going to be asked to go up to our side pool and rejoin their social group. And then in just a little bit, we're going to ask all of our animals out here to start our Dolphin Day show. So we thank you guys for coming and hanging out with us for our inside book talk here at Dolphin Theater. We ask you to stick around. Dolphin Day is starting really soon. Thanks, everybody. Everybody's getting some food.